Hey Ryan. Yeah. I unlocked the monolithic suppressor for the Renetti. Still waiting on that three round burst though. So guys, like I said, we're out here at Take Aim Range with the Beretta M9A3. And talk about just a beautiful looking pistol and a fun shooting pistol, that's for sure. So the Beretta M9A3 came about uh, whenever the Army was looking around for a new sidearm to replace the M9. There was already the M9A1 and Beretta came out with the A3. So it features that full Picatinny rail, threaded barrel, removable front and rear sight that are both night sights. And it is just, a sweet pistol and this is the f model the f model means it is a safety and decocker so here's your decocker and then it stays down in the safe position deactivating the trigger but uh we can talk more about it at the bench let's shoot this guy somehow about it so first off this thing shoots great the trigger feels awesome on it Low recoil impulse. I mean, it is a full metal gun, like the M9 that we showed not too long ago, uh, but this guy here just has a little bit better grip on it, and I gotta tell you, I, mm, I am liking, liking that a whole lot. Let me just tuck that magazine away here, grab our next one. Man, I, oh, I can just run this all day and enjoy it for sure. Oh, oh, come on. I obviously need to practice more offhand. <laughs> Man, oh yeah, easily, easy shooter. Oh, guys, I can't get enough of that. And as you can tell, yes, there it is, the decocker again. Smooth shooting pistol. And the grips on it feel really good. So it's got a little bit slimmer grip than what the original M9 did. And it does come with that polymer checkered grip. You got the check ring on both the rear and the front of the pistol. And it feels just really well. So if you've got smaller hands, it'll feel good for you. Larger hands, since it is a full size grip, you've got that. And it also comes with your Hogue rubberized grip. So it gives you a little bit more of that old school feel if you want something a little bit more thick. Yeah, and that double action feels great on this guy too. Come back again. Yeah, I could do that <laughs> all day. And it's great too because it comes with three 17 round mags. Gotta love that. Mm. That is a sweet shooter, guys. So again, this is the M9A3 Model F, and obviously that black color. Of course, they make it in the 50 shades of FDE as well. Uh, kind of like, I guess maybe they took a note out of FN's book or something like that. But really just a sweet pistol, guys. And as you can tell, like I mentioned before, really gorgeous looking one, has that nice open trigger guard. So if you are shooting it with gloves, you're not gonna have the trigger guard getting in your way. But man, and of course that classic Beretta look and style to it, right? All right. Well, I'm out of mags over here and it does come with three 17 round mags. Gotta like that. So let's take it back to the bench and let's talk a little bit more about this guy. So before we start talking about the M9A3, I need to know which one of you is responsible for this comment on the front of the M9A3 box. Beretta includes a target, which you see on the box of your M9A3. And this statement right here says, make sure to take out product before using target. Thank you and have a nice day. Literally what it says, and I know they put it there for a reason, which one of you did it? That's all I gotta know. Anyway, very cool pistol, guys. Comes with a, quite a few accessories, too, including this plastic ammo can style carrier, which I think is pretty nice. And it's all cut out, you know, with foam on the inside and everything. Comes with all sorts of little manuals and stuff. Uh, some replacement O rings for the threaded barrel, which is nice. M9A3 sticker, because who doesn't love stickers? 
And of course, a little tag that comes wrapped around the trigger guard that's got the nice Beretta logo on it, and it says carried by the US Armed Forces. Isn't that sweet? Also, as I mentioned before, it comes with, there's your lock and key, but also there's that wraparound Hogue rubberized grip. So if you're looking for a thicker fill, something that's got a little bit more of a grip texture to it, you've got these Hogue grips that'll mount right onto the gun. Of course, it won't look like that because you need to remove the other grips, but if you want to get an idea, that's about what it would look like. So very nice that it comes with all of that. And of course you've got your manuals and other safety type of paperwork located within the case itself. So pretty sweet that you get all of that in this pistol. All right, let's put that off to the side here now. So we're done talking about that. And now let's get into the good stuff here about the M9A3. So the M9 came about in the mid to late 80s because the United States Armed Forces was looking to replace the 1911. And if you guys saw our video talking about the new, uh, the new production M9s that we got in not too long ago, you already heard all of this. So let's just cut right into it with the A3 and what they've done to it. Now with the M9s in the past, one of my biggest complaints was the fact that you didn't have a dovetail front sight. So even if I wanted to put, you know, suppressor height, night sights, which are like my favorite, uh, I didn't have that option unless I took it to a gunsmith to then do the work, mill it out, and then add that dovetail style on the slide. Well, the A3 already comes with that. They're not exactly suppressor height, but they are a little bit higher sitting and they are on top of that tritium inserted night sight. So I'm a huge fan. Those nights are staying on this one for me. <laughs> All right, does have also to that five inch threaded barrel. And like I mentioned, it comes with replacement O-rings, which I don't know why there are many other manufacturers that make firearms with threaded barrels that don't include the O-ring. Remove the O-ring before mounting a suppressor to it, but the O-ring is great because it makes sure that your thread protector doesn't start to walk off there. It gives it something to resist on, and it's just a genius move that Beretta did, and they include even replacement ones for you. I think there's three additional. So once this one inevitably wears out on you, I mean, it's metal against metal on a rubber piece, you got a replacement anyway. So it's like, genius. Also, this guy does come with your polymer guide rod. It is an alloy frame, which has a three slot Picatinny rail right underneath. So if you're like me and you wanna go ahead and throw your tactical laser or light or laser light combo, you have that option. The grip on this guy feels really good too. This is what they call a Vertec grip, has a little bit more vertical style to it, which makes it, it gives you a little bit more natural feel and allows for a more natural point of aim when sighting in on the pistol, which again, I like a lot. I don't have the world's largest hands, but I don't have the smallest hands either. And this grip feels very good to me. Now I've seen guys with larger hands, uh, Tim from the Military Arms Channel, <laughs> he's talked about it. And he mentions how this thing actually feels really good. And even though he likes that hose grip that it, that comes with it additionally, he might actually stay with this style here, that polymer checkered grip that this that it comes with already straight from the factory. So pretty sweet that we got that. Now you've also got the checkering on the rear of the grip and the front, which is just added grip to make sure you're not slipping around, especially if you're going to be sending a whole lot of rounds down range with this guy and you start to sweat or whatever, uh, you might get the gun wet. You're at least going to have positive control of the firearm and not worry about losing that grip with all that extra texture to it. So nicely done, Beretta. Now, as I mentioned as well, this is the FS model or the F model for short, whatever you guys want to call it. There's the G model out there, which is simply just a, de a decocker. So once you hit that, it automatically springs back up. But this model here is just the F model, so it is a safety in decocker. So once you decock it, it stays in the safe position, deactivating the trigger mechanism, and now you don't have to worry about, you know, shooting it. Of course you can, there are, uh, I think there's actually a, uh, a kit out there. If you want the G model, you can actually spend the money and get the parts to replace. And now you've got simply the G model conversion kit available out there for you. Also what's nice too is the safety on this guy is canted about 15 degrees higher than what the standard M9 is. I don't know if you'll be able to really tell on camera or not, but typically the safety sits about right here on previous models. But it's a, angled a little bit higher up because what was happening was there were some soldiers who were doing V-loads or slide manipulations that were accidentally activating the safety and then you've got a you know firearm that's not functioning when you don't intend it to 
be unsafe. So by adding that little bit of degree extra higher up, they were less prone to accidentally manipulate that safety. So just something to throw out there. And just like every other M9, super easy to take apart and clean. All it simply is, is this lever right here, pushing in on this button on this side, rotating this down, and then the slide comes right off. And the reason I turned my back to the camera to show you that is because we sell guns for a living and YouTube doesn't like it whenever we try to, I don't know, show you how they work. So there you go. That's how easy it is for it to come apart, to field strip, to clean, whatever else you want to do. Of course, you've got your recoil spring and your barrel that just drops right out. And as you can tell, I have not put any lube on this guy whatsoever, shooting it dry as all get out. And with the few rounds that I've sent downrange with it today, on camera, off camera, I've experienced no failures running standard 115 grain. Uh, I think it's uh, CCI. I've even got some Agula 124 grain that I've been running through it and it just shoots flawlessly. And also too, I gotta tell you that alloy frame is super light. Like, that's pretty cool. All right, let me put this guy back together and there we go, rotate that up. There we are, so now it's all back together. <laughs> uh, it's so funny I have to do that. All right, other couple of cool things with it is it comes with not one, not two, but three 17 round magazines. Now this does have some sort of self lubricating finish on it or whatever metal this is that they made out of it that's supposed to be more sand resistant. So what troops in you know, where we've been fighting for like the last 20, 30 years and those sandy and dusty environments, sand was getting on the mags, it was sticking to them. And then of course that would cause failures. The mag wouldn't seat just right or anything like that within the magazine well itself. And well, because of that, they said, well, let's try to you know, get rid of that problem. Obviously we need our troops on the ground to be able to utilize the firearm that they have with them, especially if it's their sidearm, because if you're transitioning to your sidearm, you need to make sure that one's working because that means you're either out of ammo or your main gun's down. You need to make sure your sidearm's good to go. So Beretta put this type of coating on these mags that are supposed to be sand and dirt resistant. So there you go, pretty neat. All right, so the M9 has been around for 20, 30 years now, and it has just been performing and performing and performing. And of course, different variants, different models keep coming out and, you know, beating the previous model. And, you know, they, they keep adding new technology to it. And of course, it's got the Beretta name behind it, that reliability and that quality. So I'm super happy we got these in, especially at this price. Magnificent price, because typically you see these guys go for right around $1,000. Let me just say that they are priced way below that. So hop on that, okay? Before I uh, get off topic here, or stay on topic, but before I forget, let's talk about the trigger a little bit, because this is a double action, single action style trigger. Of course, once it's on safe, the the, or the decocker on this one is activated, hammer is forward, you do have that double action. So let's go ahead and fill that. And you can see a little bit longer draw, and then the reset, a little bit further out. So that's just double action. Now let's go ahead and fill it and it's single action here. You notice the trigger is already back a little bit further closer to the frame. You've got a little bit of take up here and then about a four to five pound trigger pull on it. Nice. Let's go ahead and fill that reset now. Nice short reset. That is sweet. All right, so let's go all the way back out one more time. Boom. And then that reset. Yeah, that is nice. And. I'm not the world's greatest shooter. You guys let me know that in the comments all the time. But I can tell you right now, this thing is actually pretty easy to shoot quickly and stay on target, even though I do need to practice with my offhand more. But really happy we've got these guys in. Again, at, I think is a great price. And you just can't go wrong with the Beretta M9, especially the M9A3. Last thing I want to talk about is, of course, the reliability. The guys at my unit, the M9s we have, let's say they're just less than well maintained, but they run and they've been running well. And of course you got your locking block and things like that you might want to stay concerned with, but as long as you're doing your daily maintenance or not even daily maintenance, if you're just maintaining your firearm like every good gun owner should, this thing's gonna outlast you most likely. So keep that in mind guys, you got yourself one heck of a cool pistol. So don't miss out on it. it comes with, again, this cool little carrying case uh, that looks kind of like an ammo can, that's pretty neat. And of course your, uh, <laughs> your box that doubles as a target. Just remember to take your can out before you start shooting or else, well, you just got yourself another target, I guess. All right. 
Last thing I want to talk about, guys, is our current giveaway, and that is the 762 54R PSL with that surplus optic on it, guys. That thing is so much fun. I love shooting that. And if you uh, haven't seen our video announcing that as our current giveaway, head on over to that video or just to our website, classicfirearms.com. Go and hit that banner and you'll see all the different ways to get your entries in. And watching that video is one of those ways to get those entries. Go check it out because I do a little CQB out here with the 762 54R because, well, why not? I felt like doing it, so I did. All right, do that, guys. If you're not already subscribed or getting notified from our videos or emails, go ahead, sign up for that. You don't wanna miss out on any type of giveaways or new cool products that come out, especially when they're at a price point like this one. So don't miss out on that. Guys, stay safe, go wash your hands. God bless. We'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com.